Sub shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to SP Patreon's video today that I make for Gil as part of their custom monthly music review. And if we switch over to here, we have ourselves a track by X uh, Wu Bai and China Blue titled Last Dance. And we're going to listen through this track from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. And just before we get into this, there's a chance that this could get copyright blocked immediately. So if you see the art for this in the center of the screen, you know what the deal is. But thank you. Let's go. Oh, fantastic. Having that uh, really incredibly depth buzz roll at the start. Oh. I love the, the, the attitude and the spunk behind his vocal performance there, as well as the organs, you know? That groove there with the bass was really subtle as well. A slow rock vibe. It's not quite a ballad because you've got more coming in at once than you expect, you know, but still dog, you know? I like the, uh, the, the personality, the creativity with those animal hats and everything like that. Nice build there. It's nice to have the right accents there. They do bring out of that kind of different section kind of vibe. I mean, like the vocals have been pretty consistent so far. I'm really liking the tone of them and the different melodies there. But the drum fill just there with the triplets and the space and the da 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 you know, just changing the switch up of that groove. That pulse there for the transition was really clever, you know. They pocketed. He sounds like he's crying out. You know, it's like sad that they have to go, I think. Yeah, so most of the um, the technical articulation has been in the drum so far. It's interesting that we have such a sense of minimalism in the organ, you know? I like how it's an uh, alternate kind of texture for the lead voice there. I think that's very appropriate, you know? And the, the mixing and mastering is great, you know, that's commercial grade. It does sound like a live performance at the same time though. I don't know if that's because that's of the effects on the vocals or... For knowing them, it could have well have been a live take, to be fair. And there are backing vocals in the background as well, that's sick. They just seem like a really chill band. I love how they had other members get on stage as well with them and just kind of vibe out. I'm surprised we haven't had a guitar solo, but then I suppose most of the emphasis is on the drums and the, the keyboard, or the organs. The bass is so thoroughly supportive of everything else that's going on, it's wonderful. Further articulation there. Yeah. You see the crowd waving them goodbye and everything like that. Kind of makes me, it reminds you that like a lot of the music we, we, hang on. A lot of the musicians that we grew up with are getting older now. So it's going to be interesting to see how things go with them, you know. 
Um, some musicians do go out gracefully, some some don't. <laughs> but um, yeah. These guys seem like a classy act. I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine, whatever they do. That uh, slow finish there, change in tempo there, retardando, so to speak. Excellent. That's fantastic. So yeah, this is my, you know, my SP Patience video for Girl for the track Wu Bai and China Blue, Last Dance. What do I think this track is about? I think that this track is about a band that have been playing for a while. And I think they've, they're realizing that either it's like the last song of the set where they're kind of trying to say goodbye or it's like maybe they're getting close to the end of their careers where they're starting to look at, oh, okay, we've been doing this for a while. Now, where do we want to go from here? Because you can see like the shots of all the stuff they've done over the years and everything like that. That's the kind of impression I get from this. And I, I can imagine it must be quite a bittersweet thing, you know, to look at the possibility of needing to, um, to, to, to for things to end. It's, it's difficult. Human beings, we don't typically enjoy things ending very much unless it's something we don't want to do. And when it's something we want to do, it can be incredibly painful. But I kind of like the way that the vocals were sung in this track alongside that story because it sounds to me as if the guy is grateful for what he's done but also you know even though he's crying out you know like it's more support and love and care for the crowd and the people that supported him for having the opportunity to be able to do it in the first place i enjoyed his clear competency on the mic his confidence is you know his vocal technique and his head and chest voice was great there. The back and vocals on the sides were nice and warm as well. And in a similar frequency spectrum, you know, there weren't massive octave runs or any crazy bits of like um, vocal, like there weren't any, it, there wasn't like soprano-esque kind of stuff, but you didn't need it for like a rock track like this. The guy's got a signature tone of voice that he sticks with and it works really well for him. And he had a great presence in the mix and I think he absolutely nailed it. I don't understand the native language natively, but at the same time, I don't feel as if I need to for a track like this. I, I heard it and I, you know, I, I just could understand what it was about by the sound of it. Because, you know, this track at four and a half minutes, it's there's a lot in here to appreciate. It's not overplayed at any point. And I think that even though I mentioned like a guitar solo, it's primarily because predominantly because I'm used to hearing guitar solos in tracks like this. Um, I'm used to hearing people kind of do guitars when there's a guitar in a video. But what I kind of appreciate about this track is that most of it was based around like the organ and the drums and the bass groove alongside the vocalist, the singer in the center of the stereo field there playing alongside some, um, some you know, traditional sort of like uh, in major and minor triads there with the bass being thoroughly supportive on the low end. Some really interesting tom fills to transition between parts. But, but it's also just about how when the, when the keys came in, there was, they tried to articulate or reaffirm what the singer was, was talking about. I assume the singer might be Wu Bai and China Blue might be the band. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. People, I'm sure that Gil will let me know about that. But that's the impression I got. We had musicians here who were thoroughly uh, comfortable and capable, but they also knew not to overplay. They, they knew to let the story kind of run its course. And I've got a lot of love for that. Um, I enjoy that a lot. Um, it's always sad when you have one stream take the folks away from the others. And I actually think in retrospect that having a guitar solo might have been detrimental to their performance, the experience there, just having the guitars alongside the bass and drums playing happily. And it was, it was fantastic. There was enough range structurally, instrumentally, harmonically, uh, to keep the four minute study interesting, you know, with like the verses and the choruses and the, again, the, 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 the ones without the vocals with the keys and everything. But um, I, I, it's kind of one of those weird situations where even though there wasn't a whole lot going on, it was just kind of entertaining enough as it was without it. And I'm not sure if that's simply because I like the theme of the song, how the theme sounded kind of grateful and upbeat without committing too much to this, the, the sadness that came from the tone of the vocals crying out in some of those hook parts. Um, I liked that it was really emotionally balanced and it sounded incredibly mature. I'm um, respect, I, I have a massive respect for what they were able to accomplish here. But, um, yeah, it's fantastic compositionally and performatively not know it out of place. The recording, mixing and mastering, as I mentioned, was commercial grade. I'm very satisfied with how it sounded. The vocals are nicely filtered, EQ'd. 
um, and they had a great presence in the mix there with that. I think there's a little bit of compression as well just to keep them sort of like consistent, but it wasn't a detriment. Uh, the drums were nicely uh, EQ'd and filtered as well. There are no issues there, you know, nice and wide stereo filled with the cymbals and all that. Um, the keys were double tracked or they were, they were stereo uh, recorded and that was just huge. You know, those leads on the sides, they filled out the mid-range really well with the bass and the low end, keeping things nice and thick sounding without being too overbearing. You know, like, there was great, the leveling was fantastic. It was, the, it was, the mix overall was nice and wide stereo filled. There were no weird resonances in the frequency spectrum. And it was nice and loud without pumping with dynamic range included. You know, it was a really fantastic effort by the studio. And all in all, I'm really happy with this track because this is my uh, SP Patrons review of Wu Bai and China Blue's Last Dance. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go check out their various social medias. I'm sure this will be on YouTube and digital streaming platforms. And stay cool and stay safe. Please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next SP Patrons video. Spider hands out.